Welcome back to the Food and Wine Trails of Western Australia. I've just arrived from Mandra through the Murray River to the South Yandrup Jetty. I've got some beautiful guests and I'm going to cook some beautiful food today. Here we are in main trials boat with Alan, the proprietor. Alan, tell me about your business. How many boats do you guys ma manage? We manage 14 boats. Uh, it's a family business. We've had the business for four and a half years. Uh, House boats been in Mantra maybe 40 years or, wow. or more. And where you can go from and where to? Where you can uh, hide the uh, boats from? If you went out for three weeks, you could be somewhere different every night. But most people do two or three nights. Uh, most people would do the Murray River. Uh, Mantra the Murray River, about an hour and a half on the boat. Uh, and then the first eight kilometres up the Ravenswood, you've got an island that you can stay at, Pelican Store, Sandy Cove, Jetty's Bar and Grill. So what does actually the houseboat include? Everything except food and drink. You, you need to bring your own food and drink, but it, it is a complete boat. Uh, a full, full kitchen, everything that you'd normally have or expect. Uh, there's all, all your cleaning gear, cooking gear, crab pot as well. Uh, a large comfortable kitchen, plenty of uh, things on board, well everything you need, beds, uh, toilet, shower, hot water of course. Uh, out the back uh, you've also got barbecue, uh, crab nets, crabs. Crabs included? Oh, you got to catch the crabs. Oh fantastic. <laughs> what about the skipper? Somebody in the crew needs to be the skipper. On the day uh, they'll do a tuition, that takes about one hour. Not difficult. Uh, people who've never been on a boat don't have a problem. So it could be one. As long as you've got common sense, uh, Wonderful. You, you'll, you'll do well. So it'll be a great day on the Murray River with the family and friends. Fantastic. You'll enjoy it. I got some earrings from Stan Djordjevic. Where are my mallets? Oh, Megan, welcome, welcome. Where do you catch those? Uh, in the Peel Harvey Estuary. Peel Harvey Estuary, just around the corner? Yeah, at the end of the river here. Wow, we're going to fill it those and smoke it today. Whoa, look at this. Gonna place those nicely into the smoker and then we we'll come back a few minutes later and check. Ho, 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 lucky catch. Three all at once. <laughs> look at those. I'm gonna cook this in a special Italian recipe today. I'm gonna cook some fantastic linguine with crabs. Voila. Got the linguine, need some more garlic, got some white wine from Drakesbrook, and we're gonna enjoy it for lunch. Fresh water, oh, I'll kill it. Ah, here we are. So once we pull this off, we'll do another one better later. You see? Turn the knife around and break the clothes a bit. Because you want all the flavor to come out. We place them on the side, the side bowl, and then we're gonna prepare some beautiful garlic and chili. We pan fry the garlic gently, the garlic and the chili, and as we reach the temperature of the oil, we're gonna sear this beautiful crabs in it. See in the oil? That's how we do it. So we let them cook, we turn them around until they get their orange color. While we're doing that, I'm gonna prepare the entree. In only 20 minutes, look at those beautiful earrings. Wow, great job, fantastic. And here we are with some beautiful mallet and herring smoked. We're gonna prepare the entree with this, with some fennel salad. We keep an eye always on our Crabs, and now we can roll it with Drakebrook Sauvignon. Wow, it smells fantastic, beautiful. Gonna add some salt, some pepper, and some chopped parsley. While this keep cooking, we bring the water to boil. While the water is boiling and the crabs are cooking, we're gonna prepare some beautiful salad. Some fennel salad, orange and red onions to go with our beautiful mallet, smoked mallet and smoked herring. I'm gonna 
peel the orange. Make sure you take all the whites of the orange. And here we are, some uh, orange fillets. This is it. So we keep that because we need some juice. Because we're cooking. The onion. The juice of the orange. And then some salt. Some pepper. And extra virgin olive oil. Last touch. So I would always recommend to enjoy some fish. Cook it on the bones. All the fish oil comes off the bones and the skin. And that's the best part, the omega-3. So remember, always cook your fish on the bones. All the fish oil in omega-3 will go through the fillets and we're going to enjoy it today. We we'll say that herring and mullets are not the best fish in the water. They are full omega-3 and it's fantastic for you. So the entree is ready, the water is boiling, the pasta is in. Where are my guests? Good afternoon. Welcome, come in. Welcome to my Mandra House boat. Very welcome. Lovely to meet you. Maurizio, Monica, Kate, and Alan. I met Alan before. Welcome to my houseboat kitchen here in Mendra. We prepared for you some stunning mallets uh, smoked and some uh, herring smoked. Are yes. you hungry yet? Yes. We're going to finish this with some extra virgin olive oil and a touch of parsley. It's a combined with some stunning, fresh, uh, crispy fennel salad, onion, and orange. Once we strain the spaghetti, we leave a little bit of water, keep it moist, remove the crabs from this beautiful juice with the garlic, olive oil, and some of the water from the pasta pot. And let's finish the cooking of the spaghetti into the pan. Keep it nice al dente. So the last few minutes, keep cooking in the pan. Some fresh chopped parsley. I'm gonna spoil my guest. They've really been spoiling me in this beautiful boat. I really had a great time catching those crabs, but also relaxing. It's so relaxing up here in the Murray River, which I would recommend to anybody from uh, the city, the busy city days. Come down here and enjoy some beautiful relaxing time on those beautiful houseboats, fishing, cooking, and meeting some beautiful people down in Mendra. Bene. Signori, the linguine are ready. Ladies first. Thank you. And here we are, the linguine with crabs. Thank you for hosting me Thank today. You. Allora, mangia, mangia, mangia. Unfortunately, I've got to leave you now. I'm going over the jetties, bar and grill, to see Jan cooking some beef chicks. Arrivederci. Here we are at the Jetty's Bar and Grill. Hi, Lian. Hi, Maurizio. How are you going? I'm good, and yourself? Fantastic. Welcome to Jetty's Bar and Grill. Got some beautiful rosemary here. We have. Wow. What are we cooking today? Today we're cooking Yarn's Beef Cheeks. Yarn's Beef Cheeks. Let's go and have a look. Okay. Lian, how long have you been in this place? Almost a year, Maurizio. It's nearly our first birthday. Wow. One year birthday. When? In October, the 17th of October. I'll be back for it. Oh, that'll be lovely. We look forward to Where it. Where is Jan? I've got to give Jan's him his in sauce. the kitchen, getting ready. Okay, let's go in the kitchen. Come in. Hi, Jan. How are you going? Good, yourself? Fantastic. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What, where are you from? I'm from Czech Republic. Oh, that's the accent. Fantastic. What are we cooking today? Today we're going to cook slow-cooked beef chick. Slow-cooked beef chicks. But why they are Jan's beef chicks? Well, what's the... Um, What's the speciality? Uh, it's very similar to our traditional dish, Svičkova. Svičkova? Svičkova. What's a Svičkova? Svičkova is slow cooked beef. Oh, so beef chicks and beef, okay. So it's like a braised beef? Yeah, it's a braised beef chicks. Fantastic. What are we going to put in it? Uh, today we're going to put miripu in. 
which is our carrot, celery, rosemary. Yeah, beautiful. Looks thyme great. Thyme and garlic. Fantastic. So we need uh, we need some rosemary. Yeah. I brought definitely. you some rosemary. Perfect. And we need some red wine. Yeah, definitely. I got some fantastic red wine from Friend Grove, which I'm going to put some in the meat, and some are going to drink it. <laughs> so, fantastic. So you see this already. Yeah, you that's see it. it. Fantastic. You put the middle bar. You roll plenty of wine, plenty of herbs. Plenty of herbs. Green. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. Fantastic. And then what? You, you cover and... We cover with the beef stock and cook it for seven hours on 140 degrees. Wow, seven hours, 140 yeah. degrees. So I come back tonight? Definitely. Fantastic. I will definitely enjoy some of those. And so I'm going to put some of that rosemary. Since we got flavor. seven hours and I would love to wait for these beef chicks, we're going to have a couple glasses of wine. Look at this. This is an amazing Fern Grove Cup Sub from Franklin River. Great winery. Does Czechs drink wine? They do, but they prefer beer. Oh, I know. They're very famous for beers. Salute. Salute. Enjoy. Thank you for the invite. Thank you. Fantastic. Seven hours later, just amazing. As tender as a fillet. 